2020 to 2024 extra class. FCC Element 4 Question Pool. Effective July 1, 2020. Edited by KI5DFU. June 2020. Subelement E0 Safety, 1 Exam Question 1 Group. Safety, RF Radiation Hazards, Hazardous Materials, Grounding. What is the primary function of an external earth connection or ground rod? Answer, Lightning Protection. When evaluating RF exposure levels from your station at a neighbor's home, what must you do? Answer, ensure signals from your station are less than the uncontrolled maximum permitted exposure, MPE, limits. Over what range of frequencies are the FCC human body RF exposure limits most restrictive? Answer, 30 to 300 MHz. When evaluating a site with multiple transmitters operating at the same time, the operators and licensees of which transmitters are responsible for mitigating overexposure situations? Answer, each transmitter that produces 5% or more of its MPE limit in areas where the total MPE limit is exceeded. What is one of the potential hazards of operating in the amateur radio microwave bands? Answer, the high-gain antennas commonly used can result in high exposure levels. Why are there separate electric, E, and magnetic, H, field MPE limits? Answer, all these choices are correct. The body reacts to electromagnetic radiation from both the E and H fields. Ground reflections and scattering make the field strength vary with location. E field and H field radiation intensity peaks can occur at different locations. How may dangerous levels of carbon monoxide from an emergency generator be detected? Answer, only with a carbon monoxide detector. What does SAR measure? Answer, the rate at which RF energy is absorbed by the body. Which insulating material commonly used as a thermal conductor for some types of electronic devices is extremely toxic if broken or crushed and the particles are accidentally inhaled? Answer, beryllium oxide. What toxic material may be present in some electronic components, such as high-voltage capacitors and transformers? Answer, polychlorinated biphenyls. Which of the following injuries can result from using high-power UHF or microwave transmitters? Answer, localized heating of the body from RF exposure in excess of the MPE limits. End of question pool text. Note, the graphics are required for certain questions in sections E5, E6, E7, and E9 are included on the following pages.